everybody, it's Ryan from MyAfterSchoolToys.com with another toy review, and I got a fresh new package of G.I. Joe's that just came in. So I thought, hey, we'll bust them open, and we will look at them and see what we got. Now, I already know which these are, and it's kind of a weird mix, to say the least. We're getting into some 1987, 1988 in my collection here. Should be one more figure in here. So, let's pop open this one here. Again, these are from my favorite supplier, Tyler Garcia out of Florida. He's got some great stuff, so check him out on eBay. This stuff is always very quality. So let's start off with somebody who's been very popular right now because of G.I. Joe Retaliation movie, and that is Jinx. So let's open her up out of her package. Now, Jinx in the movie is pretty cool. Uh, she's not quite the bumbling nerd that she is in the cartoon series, but she does still have her red. Good detail on her. She has the dragon. She's from the Arashikagi clan in G.I. Joe, which of course is with Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes as well. Now they actually took the time to paint her nails red, if you can see that. I know it's very hard with the, the camera there. So they painted her nails red like that to match her uniform. She's got red shoes on and a cool hood. And in her accessories here, she has a backpack that's on like this with room for two swords. There we go. Sword number one like this. Oops. Sticking everything on the back. There we go. And sword number two. Like this. And go straight down in. And then she has a staff as well. Like that. And there is Jinx. A really cool figure. I mean, G.I. Joe didn't have a lot of women, so when they did come out with figures with them, they were always fun to get just to add to the collection. And that is Jinx. Um, let's do something fun. I got another figure that didn't come in this package, but since we're talking about G.I. Joe Retaliation, let's take a look at it. We'll go ahead and put her away. There's Jinx. Let's look at Roadblock. Now this is the updated Roadblock here. We've looked at the original Roadblock before in another review. But since they were both in G.I. Joe Retaliation, why not uh, take a look at them here? Now, he didn't have a whole lot with him besides a new uniform. And then a really heavy machine gun here that snaps into this tripod like that. Did you guys see the movie, G.I. Joe Retaliation? It was as good as the first one. So that's all I'll say. If you love the first one, you'll love this one. If not, then you will not like it. But there is a very cool mountain scene with Jinx and Snake Eyes, which almost makes it worth it with just that. So there we go. All right, so there's Roadblock. Let's open up our next little package here. We have... This is Repeater from 1988. And he's a heavy gunner as well. Take him out of the package here and look at him. He's got a cool hat, thick jaw. He's got some cool gloves on him. And he's got a little holder here on his side, which you'll see in just a minute what that's for. Let's take out his accessories. I'm going to pan down just a tad so we can get a better view of things. I always cut the mic off when I do that. I apologize. Okay, so we'll snap his backpack on here, like this, and then he had a heavy gun that fits in his little holster spot, like this, and then attaches like this. That's some serious firepower right there. No doubt about that. That is an amazing gun. 
It's got a stabilizer. And there you go. There's a repeater. Between him and Roadblock, I think that'd be the only two guns you would need for those guys right there. Okay. So there's repeater. We'll pop him in a bubble package right here. For now. And then we'll move on to our next figure. Again, I always put Joe's and Star Wars, any figures like these, straight into a bubble pack. Keeps the dust off them, keeps the paint clean. They're good to get, and you can get them from Pro Tech pretty cheap. All right, let's open up our next package here. We have 1988 Road Pig. And this is the last Dreadnought I need for my whole Dreadnought collection here. So let's take him out and take a look at him. Road Pig's cool, but he has a really like happy demeanor on his face, which is kind of funny. And he has a really cool anarchy symbol on his arm here. Like that. You see some darts on his legs. Some cool steel boots. And then he had this like uh, football pad that has been modified for his armor. He's got a dart gun on his wrist. Like that or mini crossbow. I don't know exactly what you would call it, but there you go. And then he has this massive cinder block hammer, which I always thought was super cool. Because if you want a weapon and you're super strong, you're going to use a cinder block. There you go. And then he also comes with this right here. Looks like a some type of shield, but also has claws on it. So there you go. Road pig. Very, very cool. Alright, we'll go ahead and pop him into a blister as well. And somebody asked me how much these cost. I don't exactly remember, but I think it was around like between 25 and 30 for 100 of these blisters. So, uh, or bubble packs, however you want to call it. So it's definitely worth the investment to keep your figure in good shape. And if you get the bigger ones like this, then they can fit all your figures. You could actually put them on a stand if you want to, which I don't recommend because the heels can get blown out. But you can put them on a stand and fit them inside as well. So there you go. And we got one last figure here. And it's a cool one, also from 1988. It is... Budo. Let's take him out of the package here. Of course, Budo was a samurai. There we go. You can see him here. He's got some traditional looking padding on him. He's got the top knot as well, like a samurai. Very cool character. And then he came with some traditional samurai equipment which includes this awesome helmet. Yeah, let's see if I can get it to fit on him. There you go. It's kind of hard to snap into place. <laughs> and it just pops off. Anyways, for the sake of not ruining the paint on him, it fits on like that. And then, he's got his backpack as well, with grenades all over it. You can fit some swords inside of it. this and snap it on him he's also got this weapon as well kind of like a little side that fits in his back and then he has his awesome samurai sword and what's really cool about this is there's a little hook on his side so he can wear it just like a samurai would just like that and there you go there is Budo. Very, very cool figure. I love this figure. Just so much detail in him. <laughs> it's not going to stay. No worries. Still a very cool figure. Alright, well that was it. Short and sweet. Just a simple unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. It's fun to look at these figures. And this is 1987 and 1988. Jinx from 87. The rest of them are from 88. Hope you enjoyed the review, and we've got plenty more to come, so stay tuned to After School Toys, and as always, check us out at our website, myafterschooltoys.com. And until next time, long live the 80s.